Saving lives versus saving money. State lawmakers are being asked to consider a controversial bill. It would mandate fire sprinklers in new homes. WANDI team reporter Doug Wolf first reported on this story last year, and tonight he has an update on this bill and what it means to homeowners. Doug? Don, the state fire marshal proposed all newly constructed homes to have fire sprinklers. Now that idea is igniting a firestorm at the state capitol once again. It's an idea that generated a lot of heat. The state fire marshal and fire department say sprinklers in new homes would save lives and protect working firefighters. The integrity of the building is not compromised, uh, which makes it safer for us to do our job. Again, it makes it safer for the people that are inside to get out. But the home building industry tells lawmakers requiring sprinklers could raise the price of a new home by $7,000 to $15,000. And they say most home buyers don't want that. And they would prefer to do something else with that money besides put it into a fire sprinkler system that uh, the government is mandating. Bill Ward is with the Home Builders Association of Illinois. He tells me the legislature needs to pass a bill requiring the state fire marshal to go to the General Assembly before mandating the use of sprinklers. Yeah, they're not necessary. Uh, wired smoke detectors is what saves lives. Ward believes current law requiring wired smoke detectors is enough you have a 99.45% chance of getting out of a home fire alive with wired smoke detectors. Home builders in the Illinois Municipal League hope the legislature will take action on the fire sprinkler bill this week. Maryland and California are the only two states that mandate fire sprinklers in homes.